Hi, this is Sophia Cartman, host of Dream Big Podcast Show, place to learn, laugh, and grow. Hello, big dreamers. Have you ever wondered why some of us soar higher in the sky like magnificent eagles, while others prefer to stay close to their cozy nests? Well, today's story is all about taking that brave leap into the unknown. Are you ready to fly with us on this exciting adventure? Let's begin with our tale of two extraordinary eagles in a magical kingdom far, far away. And two superheroes you already know, Roxy and Jeannie. But before I play that jingle you love so much, let me give you all a huge shout out for being so amazing. Thanks to you, our YouTube channel grows every day. If you haven't joined us yet, Please click the link down below or simply find us on YouTube or YouTube Kids at Dream Big Podcast with Sophia Cartman. Subscribe, hit the notification button, and like this video. You, Big Dreamer, inspire me not only to record audio podcasts, but also to soon launch a whole new vlogging playlist. I have so much to show you and tell you. From our awesome adventures to Alaska, Hawaii, Canada, Mexico, Russia, to sharing my favorite animals like my bunny, my chickens, my fish, my dog. You have no idea how cute Alice is. And we actually have a whole lot more to share about Alice. She's fuzzy. She has her own room that we're decorating. And she's the best bunny ever, if you didn't know. We love her so, so much. and. I hope you do too. So make sure to subscribe on YouTube. I'll see you soon. But for now, let's get back to Roxy and Jeannie and their adventure with the Queen's Eagles. This is episode 391 of the Dream Big Podcast. And it's time to dream big. Welcome to the Dream Big Podcast show. We're inspiring you to shoot for the moon. Take aim and go. We bring to you amazing guests who truly love what they do. Every day they're living their dreams, and so can you. Dream big, take action to reach your goals. Are you pumped yet? It's showtime, let's rock and roll. Once upon a time, in a land filled with colors and wonders, there lived one wonderful queen who had these two most beautiful eagles. These eagles were tiny when it was giving to the queen as a special gift. The queen loved them very much and took excellent care of them in their palace. Soon they grew into stunning birds with big strong wings and eyes that sparkled like jewels. As the eagles grew, their wings became so big they could hardly fit in the room they lived in. The queen wanted to see them fly high in the sky. Her helpers took the her outside and placed them on a thick branch and everyone watched ready to see them fly very, very high. One eagle, brave and bold, flew so high it looked like it was dancing with the stars. The queen was mesmerized. She had seen many things in her life, but the dance of freedom definitely topped them all. But the other eagle seemed scared, flying only a little bit before returning to sit on its favorite thick branch. The queen was puzzled and she really wanted both eagles to enjoy flying high. She asked everyone in her palace if they could help her shy eagle fly. After a week of trying, the staff and the trainer said they couldn't do anything. The eagle would make a couple of small circles, then return to its comfortable branch. The queen ordered the best trainers in the kingdom to come and help, but they had the same result. They couldn't help the bird fly. Next, she invited the best trainers and magicians from the neighborhood kingdoms. Nothing worked. The eagles always returned to its branch. Queen became very sad, thinking of something that she had done wrong. Meanwhile, the famous pop star Roxy was coming to her kingdom for a concert. Roxy was known for inspiring songs 
and stunning voice that people said could heal, inspire, and change lives. The Queen's advisors suggested they invite Roxy. Even if she couldn't help the Eagles, she could at least cheer up the Queen. After her smashing success at the concert, Roxy visited the palace. She met the queen personally and sang beautiful songs of freedom and adventure to her and the eagles. Jeannie, Roxy's friend, also tried to help. He made an incredible painting near the branch, showing the eagle how beautiful the world would look and how it would look from a bird's eye view. But the eagle stayed put, not ready to fly. Even though Roxy had a successful concert, she went home sad because she couldn't help the eagle. But in the middle of the night, she woke up with a brilliant idea and told Jeannie they were going back to see the queen in the morning. Bright and early, she and Jeannie showed up at Queen's palace with a chainsaw in their hands. I wonder if they're going to cut the eagle's head off. Off with your head! To everyone's surprise, they rushed to the eagle. As soon as it took off to make its small circle, Roxy cut the branch. The queen and her staff were furious at such a bold action. The guards almost caught Roxy and preparing to throw her into jail. But shockingly, the eagle made bigger and bigger circles, going higher and higher into the sky. Very shortly, he was dancing with his best friend and soaring above the clouds. Tears streamed down the queen's face and made her so happy to see everyone, absolutely everyone, could fly high. Without a branch to sit on, the eagle finally opened its wings, Why? And soared into the sky, free and happy. He left his comfort zone and took a leap of faith, trusting himself and aiming higher and higher. The queen was so happy and thanked Roxy and Jeannie with a huge celebration and free concerts for all. Yes, they were rewarded, but the best reward for them was seeing the eagle fly high. All because they believed it could and helped him up it to leave his comfort zone. The end. And that, Big Dreamers, was the tale of Roxy and Jeannie and the two majestic eagles. Just like the shy eagle, sometimes we need a little nudge to leave our comfy branches and explore the big, wide world. Remember, with a bit of courage and help from friends, we can all soar great heights. So what's your branch? Are you ready to spread your wings and fly? If you're watching us on YouTube channel, please comment down below your answers. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so right now. Hit that notification bell and like this video. More great podcasts and my personal blog videos are going to come up. Until next week, keep dreaming big, big dreamers. And if you're listening to us on another platform, please make sure to give us your five-star review. And you're the reason we record every week for the last seven years. As always, you can find our show notes at dreambigpodcast.com slash 391. And if you have any suggestions for the next topics, just comment down below and send us an edit mail. All links are in the description. As always, thank you so much for tuning into the Dream Big Podcast. This was Sophia Cartman reminding you that you have unlimited potential. Your dreams are not optional. You need to make them essential. So take massive action and turn those big dreams into reality. Live with passion the way life was meant to be. See you in the next episode. Bye.